over two weeks to go now before State House adjournment in Montpelier, and the House is looking in no mood to vote on a marijuana legalization bill. The Senate now preparing a Hail Mary pass. Senator Jeanette White of Wyndham County says she'll try to resurrect the Senate's legalization bill from last year by attaching it to another bill due up for a vote tomorrow morning. If she succeeds, it will put the idea of a Colorado-style tax and regulate system back on the table at the State House, ready for the start of the second half of the, of the biennium that starts in January. Now, White's bill would allow licensed growers and retail shops in Vermont to sell small amounts of marijuana, no edibles though, and allow limited home grow. It would also fund significant youth prevention and education campaigns. It, it sounds like there's nothing coming from the House, and I believe that um, we, need to, we need to do something. I, I think that we need, to, we need to face the fact that our current policies don't work. And, and so let's get something out there that people can think about and react to over the summer and talk about. White says doing nothing makes no sense now that neighboring Massachusetts and Maine and even Quebec are expected to legalize recreational pot in the coming year. Meantime, support for legalizing pot across the United States has reached a new high. 61% of Americans think pot should be legal, according to a new CBS News poll. 88% support medical marijuana programs. Now, the majority of Americans do not think the federal government should try to prohibit the sale of marijuana in states where it is legal. But the Trump White House seems to disagree. Press Secretary Sean Spicer said there may be more enforcement because federal drug laws still list marijuana as a Schedule I illegal substance. The Obama administration had issued an official memo saying the federal government would not interfere where states uh, have legalized recreational pot.